everybody welcome back to Daisy and in this video I'm going to show you how to spawn in the Halloween 2023 infected mummy type zombie on your community server now in the description below this video you'll find a link to my video about how to kind of install everything you know how to get the whole of the event working however lots of people pointed out that they run modified uh, XMLs and JSONs, which means they can't really just start everything because it would get rid of their modifications. What they really wanted was how can I start the individual things so you could choose and pick which bits you want to add to your server. So in this video tutorial, we're gonna be adding the mummy in. Now where it all starts is here. This is the official Bohemian Interactive Daisy Central Economy GitHub repository. And again, there'll be a link to this in the description below this video. And at the moment, as of the 19th of October 2023, this has got all the latest 1.22 update files in. It's got the standard vanilla mission files. So there we are, Chernerus Plus and Enoch, which is Livonia. But it also has the Halloween ones, which we're very interested in. So what you want to do is you click on the code button and download the zip. That will download that to your local computer, and then you can then extract it. This is a really useful thing to have. So here I have it on my computer, and I keep it in its own folder called 122 Vanilla. So I use this as a reference. So if we go into it, we can see we've got all these files. Now, the Halloween and the Christmas and the Well Purgis ones, they don't include all of the mission files, just the ones that have got the changes in. Now in this particular case, the spawn in the mummy, what we need to what we need is we need the types.xml file, we need the events.xml file, and we need the CFG spawnable types.xml file. So <laughs> what you want to do is you want to download those files from your server so you can edit them. So for example, on this Nitrado server, if we go into the web interface and then we go into the file browser, um, this will pop up. Um, now, on PlayStation servers, it'll say PS missions. On Xbox servers, it'll say XB missions. On PC servers, you might have to dig down a bit, but then you'll get to just missions. And then you click into here, and then you'll see the Chernerus folder for a Chernerus server, or Enoch if it's Livonia, and we click in here. Now, if you're feeling brave, you can edit these files on the server in the web browser. So we go into the DB, for example, and we can click on events.xml. That will open that up in an editor on our web browser and you know we can change things and we can make save changes don't recommend doing that because it's very easy to make mistakes and it's difficult to see those mistakes so ideally you want to download these files make a backup edit them locally and then what you can do as well is if you're not quite sure what you've done and i'll put a link to this in the description below this video as well you can validate those xml files to make sure they're okay then you can re-upload them to your server where the existing ones are restart your server and the changes will then take place okay so let's go back so what i've done already is i've downloaded these files and uh, i've opened them up so i've opened up the halloween types.xml file which is there i've opened up the halloween events.xml file which is there and i've opened up the halloween cfg spawnable types.xml file which is here i've also opened up the downloaded and opened up the files from my server for my types.xml which is there my events.xml, which is there, and my CFG spawnable types.xml. And I've just put them next to each other so it's easy to see for me. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the Halloween types.xml, do a control F and find mummy. There she is. So there's type mummy. So what we can do is we can copy that and we can see where it's in the, the, the kind of listing of things. It's with the Moto Biker Fat. So if we go to types.xml and search for Moto Biker. We can see that's where it is and so i've already made a space so i can now paste that in now it's important to remember that types that xml is normally used for spawning in loot on the ground isn't it and in various places so you think well why do we have ai there in terms of zombies well it's just it's because the game needs to know that this is a thing that will be in the game the types that xml entry is not going to spawn it in the game it's just going to tell her you know, tell the game this is already there the bit that spawns it in is in the events.xml so in the events.xml, the Halloween one, if you do a control F and search for mummy, you'll see that the mummy entry is actually in the infected religious event that you can see here. So in order to get the zombie mummy spawning in, what they do on Chernerus anyway, is they change the infected religious child, so the thing that spawns in when the event fires, from the vicar, you know, the the, the guy in the in the cassock, to um 
uh, there's a zombie mummy. What I'll do is I'll put the class name for the mummy in the description below this video as well. So we're just swapping one out for the other. So all we need to do really is copy zombie mummy like that. Go into our events.xml from our server. Do a search for religious. If I can, I spell religious. No, I can't. Can I? I just spell religious. Oh, religious, isn't it? Relig. Religious. There we go. So it's infected religious. So there you can see. So the vanilla child, the vanilla thing that spawns in when the infected religious event fires is the zombie priest pop skinny. So we're just going to carefully paste that, change, change that to the mummy, and then save that. Now, you could just leave it at that, but what that would mean is when the zombies were wandering around, they wouldn't have anything in their pockets. Not that zombie mummies have pockets, but I don't know, in their bandages. The file that sorts that out is CFG spawnable types. So in the Halloween CFG spawnable types, if you do a search for mummy, there we go, we'll find there's the zombie mummy. And we can look through the entry, which is there, and we can see that actually there's a small chance that it'll spawn in with an anti-chem injector, some human steak meat, some bandage dressings, a rag. It's got all, it's funny how it's got all this medical stuff on it anyway. So what we can then do is we can copy that like so. Um, and then within our server CFG spawnable types, because it's just at the start of the zombies. So maybe if we just did a search for NBC, there we go, start of zombies. We can put a little space in there. We can put that in there. And now the zombie has a CFG spawnable types that entry. So we would then save that, re-upload all these files in the correct place, of course. Um, so events and types inside the DB directory and the CFG spawnable types when it gets there inside the main mission directory remember on a nitrado server you, you upload it by that upload those restart your server and those zombie mummies will then start to spawn in just please bear in mind that these things are very very difficult to kill they have loads of uh, um, life points, I guess you would say. Loads of health, I guess you should say. So don't go too mad and <laughs> making loads of them spawn in. Otherwise, they're going to kill your survivors on your server. So there we go. Hopefully you find that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.